today I'm going to show you a few things that I learned about how to scrap. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to remove these things from printers so you can get to the stainless steel and all. And you can use this for anything. And then in the second part, I'm going to show you real quickly how to get these motors apart that come from hard drives, these hard drive motors. And it's real simple for me now. I never knew how to do it. So uh, what I'm going to do is grab for this one. I am going to put my safety glasses on here, safety first. Sometimes what I'm going to do, and then I'll grab a hammer over here. Got one somewhere around here. Here it is. I found that you know any size pipe will work pretty well. So let me uh, turn a light on here and come down here. And what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to hammer this down. Shoot out my gloves on while I'm doing this because these will pinch your fingers pretty good. So then you can see how that's coming off. Now usually this will just fly right off here, but at the moment it's not, so let me grab the just some kind of tool. You can come over here and see me in a little awkward situation when it didn't work out right when I'm filming the video, of course, but it's working good. You can see that. And uh, now we're going to go down here and just complete the rest of it. So once they get up to a certain point, they just come right off, see? There you go. And then it comes through, and there you've got your stainless steel. All right, now the second thing I'm going to show you is similar. But this pipe won't do it over here with the, uh, see it's this, this part here is too big. So you get yourself a different pipe. Now I'm going to put this pipe away. And then we come down here, and we see that that will work pretty well. And this came off of an old satellite dish that I scrapped. So let me, I'm going to grab my punch. You're going to need a hole punch for this. Or maybe a nail would work. But this is what I'm using. This is, the, this is my punch here. And then I'm just going to stabilize this. Put it right there in the hole. Boom. Now see, there's the copper in there, the motor. And the other part just slid through. And it's separated. And the last thing I will show you before I end this video is just to get that out. All you have to do on most of them is just go around a little bit. And pretty soon they just pop right out. Like that. And there's your copper. So I put it over here with a couple other ones that I was doing earlier. And just keep building those up. And then this, let's test it. Probably, uh, probably aluminum. If, if you get a heavy magnet and you move it slightly and it, and it moves or you feel resistance, you'll feel it. Then it's stainless. So I'm not sure. I have to double check that. But it's definitely something you want to keep. Anyway, that's how you get into those. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day.